Hola and welcome to audio three here we're in the bees now and this is our vocabulary builder for Victor's adventures in Spain Las aventuras de Victor en España Okay, I really hope this is working for you um, Don't worry if, if some of them some of the ways of remembering don't stick with you or um, that they don't really sort of sit well it doesn't matter if you actually just repeat these a couple of three times no matter what happens you're going to have these words okay or if you can think of a better way of remembering them a silly way more exaggerated or or just more more unbelievable that's how you're going to remember them okay but what the idea of this is is that if you can build up this vocab before for example before you read Victor's adventures what you would find is as you read it it would be so much easier because you would know the vast majority of the words that were coming up, okay? Or you could always do it afterwards and then you've already seen the words and you think, ah, yes, I know that word. You do it as you like, okay? So here we go with the Bs. First of all, we have one very difficult word and that's the word for bank, okay? Bank, and that is banco. Now here we have the classic example of, if in doubt, stick an O on the end, okay? Now I know people who do that as a matter of course. <laughs> it doesn't always work, but in this instance it does. Bank is banco. Okay, but just so you know, also, banco means a bench. You know, like a park bench that people would sit on. So perhaps you can imagine also that outside of your bank there is an enormous park bench with lots and lots and lots of little people sitting on it waiting in the queue okay banco excellent next one same rule applies basic the word basic is basico Okay, slightly different pronunciation, whereas we say basic, they say basico, but they're going to put an O on the end. Okay, again. So, hmm, that's nice and easy to remember, isn't it? Basico. So what happens is when you have, when you have a situation where the word is so similar that there's nothing that you need to remember it by, what happens is you don't have an image. Okay. So when I do a review or when you're thinking of the word basic and you think, well, I haven't got anything to remember it by, that's normally the cue for you to think, well, it must be the same or very, very close. I'll stick a no on the end. Basico. Okay, next one, drink. Now, a drink, as in something that you drink, is called bebida, bebida. Okay, and that's a generic word for all drinks, okay? Una bebida, bebida. So how are you going to remember this is beb, bebi, it's like baby, isn't it? Bebi, sounds almost French, un bebi. Okay, so bebida, so a baby, just remember a baby drinks milk. Okay, a baby drinks milk. So imagine a little baby drinking, bebida. Bebida, a drink. The word for well, well, also for good sometimes, but normally well or fine is bien, bien. Okay, so just think of you saying, I've been well i've been well or i've been i've been well okay i've been well bien well is bien okay next one now this is interesting this is the word that covers ticket a bill okay as in um a, a dollar bill okay and also a note 
as in the English term of a pound note or a five pound note, okay? So, what you've got is, um, you've got ticket, bill or note, and the word is billete, billete. Okay, it has a double L. So it starts with the word bill. Okay, so that's nice and easy to remember. So they use that to talk about, a, for example, a dollar bill, billete. Okay, or also a ticket. For example, if you're flying in a plane or um, on a train or any transport, normally, normally they'll call them billete. In other countries, sometimes they call them boletos. Okay, but we'll just focus on the word billete is a bill. So just imagine you're paying for your ticket with a dollar bill, billete, okay? Okay, so billete, bill, ticket, note. Okay, next one is pen. Pen, to write things, is boligrafo, boligrafo. Can you hear you say it? Be careful with the pronunciation. There's an accent on the I. Boligrafo. Okay, so this is how you're going to remember it. Well, a ballpoint pen, this is the name that they had. Well, that's the same name in Spanish. Boli. Boli. So imagine a big ball on the end of your pen and you're drawing graphs with the pen. Boligrafo. So you a big ball pen drawing graphs, boligrafo. Okay, next, good, good, as in he's a good boy, she's a good girl, bueno, bueno. Bueno. So, okay, so how are you going to remember that is, you're saying to your child or somebody, look, I, I know I know you're going to be good, but when? Oh, <laughs> but when? Bueno. Bueno is good. Bueno. And then finally, the last B is arm. Arm on your body. And that is brazo. Brazo. Okay, pronounced in Latin America, brazo. So, how are you going to remember that? Well, just imagine that you've got two arms made of brass, really, really heavy arms made of brass, brazo. Okay, all right, so that's all of the bees. Now, let's go back and check and see how many you remember. All of them, I think. Right, so here we go. I'll give you the Spanish word, you give me the English word. Banco. Banco. So you're seeing a bank and also what's outside? A massive thing with people sitting on in a queue? Yeah, it's a bench, like a park bench is also Banco, un banco. Okay, then we've got the word básico, básico. What's that? That's right, it's another word with just an O jammed on the end. Basic, básico. Next one, bebida, bebida. Okay, and you're thinking of a baby. What's it doing? It's drinking. Bebida. Okay, to drink. Oh, no, it's a drink. Bebida is a drink. Okay. Next one is bien. Bien. And what does that mean? That means you're thinking, I've been well means well, or fine, or good. Bien. 
Next one. Billete. Billete. Okay, so you're thinking of, hang on, that starts with bill. Therefore, it's a bill, a note, a money bill. Or what else? You pay for the ticket with a dollar bill, billete. So it's ticket, bill, or note. Now, next one, bolígrafo, bolígrafo. So you're seeing a big ballpoint pen drawing graphs. Bolígrafo is pen. Okay. Bueno. Bueno. I know you're going to be good, but when? Oh. But when? Bueno is good. Okay, and then the last one. Brazo, brazo. And you're looking down at these big, heavy, made of brass arms. So brazo is arm. Okay, excellent. So that's the end of the bees. And that's the end of audio number three. So, and video number three. So we'll see you in the next one, okay? And we're going to start the letter C. Bueno, hasta luego, chicos. Adios.